just a little haul. All right, you guys, good morning. I am here doing my shipping. I've had an insane sales week on eBay, over $3,000 in sales this week. So yesterday was no exception. I had a lot of offers I had sent out. A lot of people accepted those offers. So I think I have like 15 items I'm gonna be shipping today and I'm gonna share those with you. Now I am done. <laughs> we are gonna go to Tommy's and pick up some more amazing stuff. Yes, oh my gosh. It's Q4, it's time to just hit the ground running, pedal to the metal and get as many listings up as I can so that I can really capitalize on this time that people are shopping. I'm really trying to keep my store at a thousand really optimized, really good listings. If something's been sitting for like six months or more, barring like, you know, really expensive items, then I'm just gonna take it out of my store, I think, and send it to a consignment shop, send it to ThreadUp, send it to the Real Real, and we'll see if they take any of them and what I can get. And just try to keep my store at a thousand really active, really good listings. Okay, package pickup is coming really soon, so I have to hurry. Um, always, always I'm in a hurry. I picked this up thrifting with you guys. This is a Nakatano hoodie. It sold for $44 uh, plus shipping. It's got like a really elaborate cowl neck hoodie and these really thick drawstrings. These Doc Martin Croc, they're not leather, they are faux leather, but I picked these up for $10 a long time ago. These sold for $70 plus shipping. Then we've got a new with tags Sundance blouse, super cute. Has these like statement sleeves here. This sold for $45. So clearly waffle knit thermal statement sleeve season. I believe this is going to one of you who commented on my videos that you wanted this. So it has a little flaw, but still sold for $11. It has a little flaw, but still sold for $11. This shirt may be flawed but we're all flawed. This is a bolo. This is something that you might not have wanted to pick up, but now I'm letting you know. Hector Russell, this is a kilt. <laughs> and it sold for 60 bucks. So watch out for the kilts, they sell great. <laughs> All right, everyone, be afraid. Trigger warning, these low rise vintage jeans sold for $35. These aren't even like the lowest rise jeans that I've seen. Low rise is coming back. Be prepared, like it's the apocalypse, I guess. No, it's fine. Another pair of low rise flat pocket Hudson jeans. I picked these up at a yard sale. They sold for $35. So both of the Hudson jeans that I picked up at that yard sale sold for 35 bucks. A couple more Sundance thermals. These are new without tags. Again, with the statement sleeves, I got a bunch of these at that thrift store, my favorite thrift store where they do cut the tag out, but I knew they were Sundance anyway. I sold two of these for 20 and 25 dollars. This North Face jacket, I knew this would sell quick. This sold because I sent out offers. It sold for 175 dollars plus shipping. And then we've got these Huma Blanco or Uma Blanco, I'm not saying that right. Um, I got these at a yard sale. I got that actually at that church sale. Thank you for attending a church sale. I paid two bucks for these and they sold for 95 dollars. A Derek Lamb top that I've already bagged up, but this again sold to one of you guys. It's the off shoulder from that Derek Lamb thrift haul. I'm gonna pack these up real quick and then let's head to Tommy's. All right, you guys, we're all done. Just in the nick of time too, because I think they're coming at any minute. I'm gonna put this on the porch. Let's go to Tommy's and find some amazing stuff. Okay, wait. Okay, wait, I'm not done. <laughs> I just remembered. I've been cross posting to Poshmark and I had some Poshmark sales and I completely forgot about them. I'm not used to this, I'm not used to Poshmark. <sighs> Okay, two Poshmark sales. All right, shoot, let's see if I can get those in time. Ah! Okay, packages are done. Yay. So now, now I am done. <laughs> all right, you guys, that does it. We are all done, just in the nick of time too. Check it out, okay. that one's tense. Tense, okay. This part is fine, tense. Awesome. Of course, because it's gonna be a busy day and I'm gonna be on my feet a lot, I'm wearing my Bombas socks, which are by far my favorite socks I have ever owned in my life. They're so comfortable. My feet do not ache at the end of the day. They're durable. They don't warp or change in the wash when you wash them. And they make socks for the whole family. So my kids have their Bombas socks. Crew just got his own pairs of Bombas socks and you guys are gonna die when you look at them. They are so cute. Oh my goodness. Look at those little socks. You look so handsome. And one of the best parts about Bombas, of course, is they're giving packed, which means for every pair of socks you buy, they give a pair of socks to someone in need. We love them in our house, and I really think you will too. I think they're the perfect gift for someone special that you love, and they'll become their favorite pair of socks in no time. I also have a promo code for you guys. If you use HUSTLE20 when you check out, you'll get 20% off your first order at Bombas.com. Thank you again to Bombas for sponsoring this portion of my video, and now let's get back to it, you guys.
it, I think people like if you just keep going out there and you keep putting your feet on the pavement, going to yard sales, going to yeah, flea markets, you'll find you'll connect with people. So you can do a so it's a ten for the three if you want. Yeah, to let's do that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> the best part. The best part. Yes. Oh my gosh, that is so sick. Oh, oh you know what? It's I like one. Steak. Yeah, I can. Yeah, Darn I can it. say it. it's the like fake one because yeah, the, the because the tag. So I have a couple Fear of God shirts uh -huh. for myself, and this ta the tag is like it's perfect different. and very nice, and it's sewn all around all the right. edge, and this is like crooked. Like you can see where... Yeah. Darn! You know that. Oh, I love this brand. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Oh, vintage North Face. Is... Gucci. These will do well, though. Like, I might just keep this. <laughs> I think it's just cool. Like, a little thank leather satchel. Yeah, thank you for you. <laughs> All right. So, let's start adding up. 15, 20, mm -hmm. 20, mm -hmm. 20, 20 on that one? And 20 on mm -hmm. that one. Okay, so 40. 10 on the hat. Oh, yeah. 10 for those. 42 times 5. 210. 210. Perfect. Okay. So we're, we're at 516. 30 10 tens one, here. Yes. Okay. 110. Is that everything? Yes. I, I think, right? I think yes. so. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 656. 656. I will Venmo you. Thank you so much. Oh, I God. always appreciate it oh. so much. Thank you so much. Haul. All right, we're back. Wow, a lot of amazing stuff. This time in particular, really, really good stuff. I ended up paying about $700 for everything, and now let's see what this haul adds up to as far as resale value. We've got Ralph Lauren purple label is the label to look out for if you ever find Ralph Lauren. This is their most expensive line. Their purple label stuff sells for a lot of money. Maybe a hundred bucks for this one. We have these Lululemon men's like swim trunks, I think, cause they're mesh lined, but they're missing the drawstring. So yeah, 20 bucks on these. This Pharrell short sleeve sweater, Pharrell Adidas. Uh, I see these going for like 50 bucks on eBay. So this should be great. We love frame. Frame doesn't always sell the fastest, but it sells well. And this style is kind of fun and different with the straight leg crop, maybe 40 bucks on these. Then we've got, I don't know what this is. This Lady Gaga, it's the Joanne World Tour. Okay, I see a listing for $35, $38, so this is probably in that range, 35 bucks. That's cool. Nobody believed in me. Aloe leggings, these are a consistent 20 to 30 to 40 dollars. These are the goddess leggings though, which have like the, the ribbed from the thigh down are ribbed, and these usually go for more, so 35 probably on those. Several pairs of free people movement joggers. I'll lot these together since they're the same size and sell them as a lot probably maybe 50 bucks for the lot of three two pairs of peter millar pants we love peter millar should sell for like 40 bucks each these are larger sizes too which is great this is a ride cascade camo snowboard jacket i really like selling active wear you guys know that uh, yeah, this is like 40, 50 bucks. Oh, this is a really pretty dress. And this is one of my favorite brands to find. I don't find it very often, but it is for Love and Lemons. And it is like a short sleeve, like semi sheer dress. So pretty, $100, maybe 150. I also have some Lululemon bras. I picked up quite a few from Tommy. Again, these will probably be lotted together and be sold as a lot. So I think I have four of them. So that's like probably 50 bucks. Some St. John. Pants. These are just the canvas like knit pants. I think they're linen. Yeah, like a linen blend pant. I don't know, maybe 35 on these. Anthropology wide leg pants, another 30. Another pair of Peter Millar pants. Whenever I have the same size, same brand, I'm gonna lot them together for maybe 75 bucks and see what happens. These are some Patagonia like baggy shorts. I don't know if they're the baggies. That's like a separate thing. But yeah, these are probably, I don't know, 25, 30 bucks. So this dress originally retailed for $150. $52. It's Auto Dame. I don't know how to say that. But I think this is sold on the Sundance website. And yeah, I'll probably try to sell it for $75. 
Kate Spade. Kate Spade doesn't sell for what it used to, but like this simple, I don't know, boat neck sweatshirt, probably 30 bucks. Got the Abercrombie, vintage Abercrombie men's plaid shorts, maybe 20 bucks there. Some Vince <laughs> silver metallic crop pants, wide leg crop pants. I like Vince, sells decently well, maybe 40 bucks on these. This is a brand to look out for, it's Maddie Mamain, and it's like a linen dress. Uh, I see comps around 50 bucks for this, so good find. Shoes and bags, and then I do have a couple cool items. This is uh, an anthropology brand, DRA Los Angeles. <laughs> this, is, this is a crazy multicolor like knit jacket. This is crazy. Um, not my style. My style is looking like Adam Sandler. Oh, really? This is a really cool jacket. This should sell for 50 bucks easy. We have this really pretty St. John like bell sleeve dress, the knit dress. This should still sell for like, I don't know, maybe a hundred bucks. We have a St. John bodysuit, like our a St. John jumpsuit, full jumpsuit. I'm seeing comps around $65 to $100 for this, so probably in that range. And Levi's, we have some Levi's 501XX jeans. These are selvage, which is right here, you can see that selvage seam. These should sell for like $75. This was an exciting, I had, like I, I've never found a size 20 in Lululemon before. So that was exciting. Um, these are the, I think they're dance studio joggers or something similar. These should sell for 50 bucks. A very nice condition Patagonia ribbed men's sweater. Easy sell. This will be an easy 50 bucks if not more. You guys can help me. I don't know. Peanuts? I don't know what this would go for. <laughs> no idea. It's a vintage shirt, 1997. I don't know what I'll price this at. When we were at Tommy's, I found some comps in like the 30 to $40 range, so I might price it 40, but we'll see. Please, again, give me your feedback. I've learned so much from you guys. If you know something about this or sold something similar, let me know in the comments below. Good grief. A Gore-Tex vintage North Face jacket before. It sold for $75, so this one, although, is in really good condition and it's red, so I think I'll sell it for like 100 or I'll list it for like 100 bucks and see what happens, but yeah, this should sell great. Mephisto is one of my favorite brands to sell, uh, shoe brands. These are like some woven leather sandals. These should sell for like at least 50 bucks if not more. The Nike Zoom Pegasus, I'm thinking like 60 bucks for these. Three pairs of Birkenstocks, as you guys saw, so these are in really good condition too, so I will list these at about $40 each, maybe 50. Some Aquitalia, Aquitalia shoes here. I think these could sell for like 65 bucks. I had no idea what these were when Tommy showed me. I was like, well, they look cool. <laughs> different. They are co-op Barney's New York. So I might list these kind of high and see what offers roll in. But yeah, way cool. If I were cooler, I could wear something like this. Do not talk bad about yourself. You are cool, Ashley. I am probably going to be keeping this for myself, but this is a good brand to look out for. Harbor. Shout out to David Harbor. Harbor from Stranger Things. Anyway. I'm the chief of police. I could cover it up. But like I mentioned, I, I will be keeping it. Like I might just keep this. <laughs> I think it's just cool. Not a little thank letter satchel. Yeah, <laughs> okay, now these were very exciting. I think these will sell for these Gucci like kitten heel flip flops. I think these will sell for about $150. Three people. I mean, these are the rest is just kind of bread and butter. I'm adding it up as we go. I had never seen Converse suede sneakers like this, suede boots. I have no idea what these go for. Maybe like 50 bucks. I think they're cool and very unique for sure. This Dolce & Gabbana bag. Vintage bags don't do so great for me. This might sell for like 80 bucks, I would say, 70, 80 bucks. Hammett is really nice though. Hammett is a very popular brand right now. I think this will sell super fast for maybe 100, 150 bucks. Moose and Cloud, I believe is sold at Anthropology. I got these because of the unique design. I think these will sell for like 40 bucks. Some Ugg slippers in pretty clean condition. The soles look pretty good. I mean, they're a little worn at the heel, but yeah, I think these will sell for maybe 30. And then some On Clouds. These these have sold so fast for me. This is one of my favorite shoe brands. So these are pre-owned. I think these will sell for like 50 bucks. Some Tory Burch flip-flops. Don't be deceived. These still sell great even though they're just flip-flops. These should sell for like 30 bucks. And then some Ariat boots. If you ever see this logo, Right there, that's a good sign. Ariat sells great for me. These waterproof women's Chelsea boots should sell for like 50 bucks. All right, I've got my work cut out for me. I'm going to be taking all this stuff and photographing it now, but the grand total that we have is just over $3,000 worth of resale value for everything that I got today from Tommy, minus my $700 that I initially invested in it. And then if you take away fees, I have at least, I would say, 
I think I have around $1,500 worth of profit here after everything is said and done and after I get it listed and sold. So a really good day. I think things will sell quickly. It's Q4. I'm trying to get my store stocked up with all kinds of great stuff. So that's the goal and Tommy helped me get there. You guys should follow him on Instagram. He has great stuff. Sometimes he offers mystery boxes. He just shows off the cool things he gets from his wholesale. So definitely check that out. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you so much. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let me handle this. Subscribe and like the video or I will be very disappointed in you. Thank you again. Take care and I'll catch you next time.